Hi everyone, it's Hazel and welcome back to this video. And guess what? We just hit 10,000 subscribers and I thank you all for watching and supporting all my videos. I am so grateful for all your love and support. I want to keep continue doing this and please let me know if you have any suggestions on how I can improve my channel or how I can improve my videos. Please leave me a comment down. I will try my best to make it better. So again, thank you so much for your love, for your support, and let's keep doing this. Moving on to our recipe for today, I made cauliflower tartines. Mmm, smells delicious. One time, I was just looking for something to watch on TV, and I came across the good dish, and I saw this video about cauliflower tartines. And in the original recipe, they made use of roasted cauliflower, the dill sauce, and instead of uh, salmon, they made use of lox. Well, lox is also from salmon, which is basically just salted and i didn't want to make use of lox i love lox but there's just too much sodium i made use of salmon and i just fried the salmon quickly cut it into small pieces and also i have included boiled egg just because one of you asked me about making recipes for dialysis patients and so i have incorporated boiled egg Again, boiled egg, I know some people are going to scream at me and say, stop eating animal products or byproducts. But this recipe is probably great for early stage of CKD. If you are type 2 or type 3A or B, maybe you can have this diet once in a while. But if you are late stage like me, I haven't eaten egg in ages i believe so i have incorporated the boiled egg today most doctors are actually suggesting to include include the yolk in your diet don't skip it but limit okay so if i have a boiled egg today and then not eat at all for several months i think i think i'd be okay i think i'd be okay uh, I, I really do. Boiled egg has, has so many vitamins and minerals. It's a complete meal. I know that the salmon and the boiled egg are just too much. So it's up to you to modify this recipe. Maybe you can skip the salmon and just make use of boiled egg. Or maybe skip the egg and have a little bit of salmon. You know, when I tried salmon and dill sauce, I really loved the combination. So I tried making it today. By the way, I made use of macadamia, but in the original recipe, cashew nut was used. I always think about macadamia is the best, you know, nut when it comes to kidney disease. It has low potassium, low phosphorus. But if you want to make use of cashew, I think that would be, that would be perfect. Uh, it depends on your case again case to case basis you eat according to your labs so yeah mm. 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 lots of flavor you know, you can be generous with the sauce. It's okay. Dill has really a lot of flavors in it with the macadamia nuts. This is, this is really delicious, I must say. The only thing is I would suggest that you roast your cauliflower because I was trying to save time and I just grilled it. But... Actually, I ended up spending more time because if you decide to grill it, make sure to boil the cauliflower or blanch it until it's a little tender so that it's crispy outside and it's uh, tender and juicy inside, just like what I have right now. Mm. Oh, 
sa big chunk. Mm. Oh my goodness, guys. Mm. Mm. I wanted to say too that you can actually make this as your own. I've seen recipes such as curry cauliflower tartines. So if you want a curry flavor, you can also do that instead of using the dill sauce that I made. You can also top it with roasted red bell peppers and hummus. Those are great combinations. If you are a plant-based diet, you wanna skip the protein altogether, skip the eggs, skip the salmon. You can make use of hummus. You can make your own hummus delicious i think it's gonna be great i'm gonna eat the white egg white a little bit of yolk in there mm. cauliflower is one of the vegetables that you can definitely eat regularly on a kidney diet and that is why i always think about how i can do different things on cauliflower broccoli or whatever vegetables that are great for uh, you know for the kidneys mm. Cauliflower tastes so good. Mm. Mm. And by the way, I only topped the cauliflower with a probably around one ounce of uh, salmon. It's all up to you how much salmon you can eat. Could be two ounces to three ounces. Okay, so this is so delicious guys i want you to try it and please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of it and again if you haven't make sure to subscribe and click that bell notification for my upcoming videos again thank you so much for the 10,000 subscribers thank you all for your love and support and i love you all and i thank you all and again Let's continue to fight CKD and let's make it happen. Always remember, love your kidneys. Until next time, bye-bye.